All right, let's look at the temperature of the CPU. So I'm in my BIOS. I'm going to go to the system monitor. And right here, it says my CPU is running at 57 degrees Celsius. Now that's, that's kind of hot. So since my computer is running in stock speed right now, I think it should be somewhere around 40 degrees Celsius. So what that tells me is I think the thermal paste the compound is actually failing so what I have to do is actually take apart my computer take off the cooler and redo the thermal compound on my CPU right, first let's unscrew the case okay what I want to do is solve an overheating problem so first I look at each vent, make sure there's no dust on it. Okay, like this right here. There's also a vent right here. And it doesn't look too bad, but what I want to do is actually remove this entire cover. Can you see that? That's pretty dusty. So let me actually grab a dust buster. Okay. Looks pretty good. All right. We're going to remove the CPU and to do that first we have to remove this fan and heat sink combo. Now on this particular unit just to expose the screws I actually have to remove the fan that screws onto the heat sink. So let's do that first. Okay, let's right up. Now there's some dust on this. So I'm actually going to wipe that moist paper towel. So I'm going to remove it, the fan, by unplugging it from the motherboard. I'm going to go clean that off first. Okay, my fan is nice and clean. Now I have to remove the heat sink, which looks really dirty now these screws are spring loaded so they make a lot of noise If you have a cat like I do, you might want to clean out your computer every couple of months. These computers, they, they suck in a whole bunch of dust. When they suck in all that dust, they tend to run hotter. When things run too hot, they tend to break. So, some word of advice. Let's see. Okay. So that's loose. Look at that. That's probably why my computer's temperature was a little too high, huh? Back is not bad. It's just over here where it sucks it in. So now I have to clean that out. And the way I'm going to do that actually is um, I'm going to spray it off with water and then dry it off thoroughly. And over here, you can see the thermal paste. That also, I'm going to scrub off. And I'm going to have to scrub that off my CPU also. Alright, now I wash this heat sink with water. And to dry it, believe it or not, I actually use the leaf blower. It's a lot quicker than a hair dryer. 
So there's a little tip. It's a little extreme, but it works. All right, now I have to remove my CPU. I have to clean up the thermal paste. So that I could put on new thermal paste and reassemble everything. So you can see it's all gooped on there. All right, CPU is clean. Now make sure you install your CPU properly. Look for the little cutouts. You don't want to bend the pins on your CPU, you, you'll be screwed. Okay, here we go. I'm going to apply a little bit of this compound to the center of the CPU. Okay, once I put the, the heat sink on, it will actually spread it. So, okay, let's put the heat sink back on. Before I made this video, my computer was running 57 degrees Celsius on idle, which is pretty high. So I knew something was wrong, and you know, there was all that dust. Okay, now time to put on the fan for the heat sink. Alright, time to put the cover back on. I'll fire this computer up. Make sure our heating problem is fixed. I should say overheating problem. Okay, before my computer was running at stock speed 2.4 gigahertz and the temperature was 57 degrees Celsius. Now you can see I'm running at 3.1 gigahertz. I'm overclocked and my temperature is 46 degrees Celsius. So we definitely solved the overheating problem by doing what we just did in the video.